What's going on people, welcome back to another video on the Sharp Diff channel and today I'm going to be making a wee video that's going to be kind of different from what's normally on the channel. Now recently everybody's heard about the Logan Paul situation and what he did and he could have been so much, he could have handled it so much better basically and I've had a lot of messages from people actually asking me to make a response to it and I never thought that it was really relevant to my content so I thought that I would do a wee bit of research and I would come up with a video today that was more relevant so today I'm going to be speaking a wee bit about sport and depression so what is depression? depression is a feeling of dejection it's feeling like you're not good enough and scientifically, it's widely thought of being a chemical imbalance in your brain. Now, sports stars far and wide are glamorised and a lot of people envy them for the amount of money that they make. And with footballers going for 200 million euros, pounds, I can't blame anybody for feeling a bit of animosity towards that kind of money and those kind of um, athletes. Now, you always see these people in their best moments. You'll see them scoring the winning goal, you see them hitting the winning serve, you see them hitting somebody with a knockout punch, but what you don't see is when everything dies down. I mean, it must be quite hard for a sports star, 50,000 people surrounding them, to go from that, to go from that high, to then just going back to the flat and being alone and trying to relax and wind down from the whole situation. I've actually been inspired to make this video because, believe it or not, a lot of people have actually reached out to me and asked me for advice on depression, about feeling down, and it's not something that I've personally experienced, so the advice that I would usually give to them is just to speak to their parents, to speak to somebody that they, they kind of trusted, to speak to a teacher or something like that, or if they're a bit older, just to try and confide in somebody. Um, but i also seen a video recently by Copa90, who are a very popular kind of football content um, channel and website and that sort of thing and they made a documentary about Leon McKenzie who is a former professional Premier League footballer and in this video to paraphrase he said some of the darkest times in his life was when he was at the highest he was at his peak of his pebbles when he was scoring goals in the Premier League regularly versus Manchester United and against all of the other giants he basically said that those were some of the darkest times of his life and he felt like he had nobody to turn to but he was really good at hiding it so nobody noticed and he actually tried to end his own life and another reason why I did want to make this video is because a lot of the time my content is took the wrong way I try and make content to make people smile to give people a wee bit of entertainment to brighten up people's days and a lot of negative people take that content and they try and spin it off they try and ridicule it and that's not the sort of message that I want to spread. That isn't going to make me happy when my head hits the pillow at the end of the night. So by making this type of content, hopefully I'm going to help one person. If I can help one person, then that would be, that would be amazing. Another professional footballer that is suffering from depression is former Burnley player Clark Carlisle. And he said, I wasn't doing the things that I should have been doing to maintain my mental well-being. You spiral down and it's incredibly difficult to stop. Now this could be as simple as not consuming the proper nutrition, no exercising regularly, and this is something that I also try and keep an eye on. I try and eat as well as possible, it's something that I struggle with, but I also try and train as regularly as possible. And it just makes me feel good. It makes me feel good physically, and it also makes me feel good mentally. And it's not just footballers that suffer from depression, also massive superstars such as Serena Williams, who's an amazing tennis player, Oscar De La Hoya, they've also suffered from depression as well. And a lot of people would say to that, to combat that, you have reached the pinnacle of your sport, you have earned so much money, you're living a lavish lifestyle, how can you be unhappy? And to that, I would just say that mental health issues don't discriminate. So that's pretty much it, that's the message that I want to spread on this video, trying to give a wee bit of advice, help somebody out if I can, and inspire people who are suffering to speak out and try and get help. Right, thanks for watching and I'm out.